2025 Chevy Equinox EV crushes Tesla Model Y and range test. Hey there, EV fans. Before we dive into today's electrifying video, make sure you're all set. Hit that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up, and drop a comment below. And trust us, you'll want to stick around until the very end. We've got some exciting things you won't want to miss. We knew the $35,000 Chevy Equinox EV was a range champion. Now it has beaten its own EPA rating. The 2025 Chevy Equinox EV blew past its EPA range estimate in Edmunds testing by a margin of 37 miles. It also outperformed the Tesla Model Y and the Model 3, both of which were previously tested under the same parameters. A year ago, General Motors electric vehicles built on the Ultium platform were stumbling. Software glitches left an inside DV's reporter stranded in rural Virginia. Production challenges piled up, and customers faced maintenance issues. Fast forward 12 months, and GM has staged a major turnaround. Its EVs are thriving, and the Chevy Equinox EV is especially crushing it. In an independent range test conducted by car trading and research firm Edmonds, the 2025 Chevy Equinox EV blew past its EPA range estimate of 319 miles. The base Equinox EV LT traveled 356 miles in the range test, a 12% improvement over its EPA rating. That's a pretty significant achievement, given that the Equinox EV LT is the cheapest EV with over 300 miles of range. Now we know that it can go far beyond that. Edmunds also maintains a leaderboard for the longest range EVs on sale in the U.S. The Equinox EV handily beat several other popular long range EVs on that list, notably the 2023 Tesla Model Y, a direct competitor to the Chevy. The Model Y long range went 310 miles under similar conditions and the exact same test parameters. That's 46 miles of difference for a car that costs roughly $10,000 less by today's prices. Speaking of prices, the Equinox EV is also the most affordable GM EV on the Ultium platform. It has a starting price of $35,000, including destination, which can come down to about $27,500 with the full $7,500 federal tax credit factored in. It's powered by an 85-kilowatt-hour battery back, sourced from Ultium Cells, a joint venture between GM and Korean battery maker LG Energy Solution. The Equinox EV's observed energy consumption was also about 6% less than the EPA estimate. It consumed about 29 kilowatt hours per 100 miles compared to 31 kilowatt hours per 100 miles as per the EPA, which translates to about 3.45 miles per kilowatt hour. That means it also fared better than the 2024 Tesla Model 3 long range, 338 miles, Honda Prologue, 320 miles, and the Cadillac Lyric, 319 miles respectively, the Prologue and Lyric ride on the same Ultium platform. The weather seems to have favored the range test, but the parameters are the exact same for all EVs. It was 61 degrees Fahrenheit, and the test was conducted on a mix of city, 60%, and highway, 40% driving. An inside DV's 70 miles per hour highway range test of the 2024 Equinox EV2 RS, the crossover managed to cover 306 miles, outperforming its EPA estimate of 291 miles. The Chevy tackles two of the biggest concerns facing electric cars, range and affordability. That could be why it's the best-selling GM EV and among the best-selling non-Tesla EVs. In the third quarter, GM managed to sell nearly 10,000 units of this car. But now, some of that momentum could be stalled as President-elect Donald Trump has vowed to slap a blanket 25% tariff on all goods imported from Mexico, where the Equinox and Blazer EVs are manufactured. Thanks for riding along with us, EV lovers. If you enjoyed today's journey, double-check that you're subscribed, smash that like button, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Keep those batteries charged, and we'll catch you in the next video.